my people there is a saying that eh do me as you do to others is not uh, just uh, said it is end yes if you say uh, bab me the hair you bab nicholas you ask yourself do i have the same shape of head with nicholas so you will know whether the hair bab will fit my own head that is the first thing you have to ask my people they said uh, oh lori semitope brother oh after hearing what uh, Kabi C did for Dr. Elizabeth's uh, brother, oh, he decided to jump out from nowhere and demands that uh, him too has to go to that uh, diaspora where Kabi C has sent Dr. Elizabeth's brother. But now the point is do you deserve this? Do you deserve to go there? Do you deserve KBSC's mercy and favor? That is the question we should be asking. And that is the question I've been asking ever since this uh, information leaked to us, as it is being rumored on the internet now, like KBSC, uh, as we said before, as it was rumored that uh, he has sent uh, Dr. Elizabeth's uh, brother to diaspora, he has made his visas and he is ready to move. He just wants easy to support Dr. Elizabeth's family. And there was a time we heard that this same brother of Temi Tokwe came to the palace uh, talking to Kabi AC anyhow. I don't know if any of you heard that gist. Yes, when he first heard that uh, Temi Tokwe is among the people who will be uh, um, divorced from the palace. So instead of him to approach Kabi AC in a manner that this is a king, he was doing it like it is his right that KBAC cannot do anything, that KBAC dare not divorce his sister. Now, you've heard that uh, Dr. Elizabeth's brother has found favor in the sight of KBAC, and you run from nowhere to come and say you must get your own. Like, must you, are you the one that to tell the king what he would do with his money? Are you the one that would tell him who to favor? Like, I don't understand. The audacity is too much. No, when how someone sees your husband is the way you present him to them. Yeah, that is just the truth. Because the reactions from the siblings of these other women uh, to KBAC, it shows how low they presented KBAC, how they disrespect KBAC in front of their people, in front of their families, in front of their brothers. That is why any of them could just come open their mouth and talk to KBAC anyhow. It is not a do or die affair. A marriage is not a do or so. If KBAC said, okay, I don't want to marry again, it is just a simple understanding. How do we solve this? In a soft manner. But the times, all the times we've been hearing that they have been coming, even anti blue blue people came that one and they said it's a palace to palace, na kingdom to kingdom, na full, full war. That one is. Then this Temitobe brother, the time they, we heard she, he came to the palace, he talked to KBAC in a manner that I was imagining if truly this is really happening. So now uh, KBAC decided to do this for Dr. Elizabeth's brother and this one came. They said he was beating blue and black at the palace gate. Trust them. Trust the palace, the palace guards. You know, they were beating. You can imagine what he did. They said, according to what we heard, the rumor we heard about this is that this guy came after hearing what Kabi did to did for someone he now came uh, wanted to enter the palace they denied him access that okay Kabi is going out it's not that they have not been allowing him more. each time he comes to the palace they will allow him the last time he came to see Kabi that he rained insults on Kabi they allowed him coming because they know uh, 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 in-laws now they have to allow him come so that Kabi can hear from him now the day he went for this thing they said Kabi, they did not grant him access that Kabi is going out he started shouting why would they not allow him that Kabi is married to his sister for crying out loud they said so we know we used to allow you before but today Kabi is going out immediately he's on his way out he's about to go out he cannot see you they said this guy started dragging the gates with them this is someone that is coming to see whether they go bab on the head where they bab at the bat but he forgot that he needs to have the same shape 
of Albert's head so that when they barb you the hair, it will look like Albert's own. It will fit in. He started jumping on the gate, you know, fighting the, the securities. He was violent. You know, he, okay, he, he, it was too. He, he day you he fast, fast, let it happen immediately. You just want to see KBAC. Okay, KBAC, please, I need a visa to America, and KBAC will just write it and give you. Phew. Now, so did they do them? You cannot calm down. Hmm, my people, it was a total disgrace on the side of the Mitobe because this thing eh, that the brother did is earning him red mark already. More red mark added to the one she has before, according to what we heard. So my people, they said they were there dragging the gates with the security. The guy, they said the guy is, you know, he has muzzles. He was dragging the... Before you know it, KBS was already driving out. This guy stopped by the gate that this gate must not be open. That KBS will not drive out until he talked to KBS. Imagine the other city. In fact, where is this coming from? I need to know. Like, now, my head is busting. Like, why so much disrespect on this man? The Oloris have finally reduced him to nothing. But we thank God that they are planning the first, uh, set free festival. Which, when they do it, everybody will find their way. And this man will have some peace. And stay with a woman who respects him so much. That is what the man deserves. Respect and peace. Ever since he married this woman, he has been giving, they have given him headache. So, let me get back to what we are saying. Because as I'm talking to this, I'm talking about this, I'm imagining this and it's getting to my nerves. Like I can't, I can't control my hot temper right now. You know? So they said he was fighting at the gate, fighting at the gate, fighting. Ah, and the next thing, the guards, the men guards, you know, KBAC is uh, uh, what do they call them, all these big people that has bodybuilding. They came and dealt with him seriously. Came down from KBAC's car, came down from the entourage they wanted to go with, the, their convoy, and dealt with him. They beat him blue and black. Maybe he was thinking it was just the securities at the gate that there is nobody that will fight him, or rather that nobody will fight him because he's a, a KBAC's in law. He doesn't have manners. They said they beat and blue and black. Before the uh, Lori uh, Temitobe knows what is already happening, ah, the guy don't slump, collapse. Yes, for real, that is what they said. He collapsed at the gate because they beat him mercilessly. What audacity do you have to block KBAC from moving? Who, who send you? Who goes you? Who burn you? Who is you? Eh? Nah, eh, I don't understand though how people they do this thing. Oh. I be telling me the same cabbie as well with the respect like this. Nine person go they do anyhow. I beg, I beg. So my people, that is the information we are hearing. You know that they beat and blue and black. You want to go and get uh, KBAC, uh, you come for visa, do it for me, wait till you do for others. And that is the, the approach you want to use. Like it's by force that he must do it because he's married to your sister, so he's an entitlement to you. So that is the information we are hearing. You know, I say, ah, this one is for you. It's funny, like how this guy, they say they rushed him to, to the hospital before Temitobe, his sister, could come to know what is happening, that Temitobe was even shouting, is this what I sent you to come and do? You said you want to come and meet KBAC. That is even where they come to know that this is the mission he came with. That he wants to come and say, KBAC, oh, say KBAC, please, oh, okay, I need my own visa, I want to travel out, please. And you started with violence, you know, he's not trained well. Right from the time, the first time they said he came to see KBAC to, to uh, talk about KBAC's uh, relationship that is going down with uh, uh, Tomitope, he insulted KBAC so much. I knew from that time that this guy was not well trained. And that is what is affecting his sister. You see? So my correct, correct people, they said they rushed him to the hospital. Now he know what he's going to settle with in spirit. Uh, if they are alive, fine. If you know they are alive, fine. But according to what we heard, as it is rumored, as it's alleged, my people, I was not there. See, as I'm narrating as I was there, but now so they take narrate to me as I they narrate to Una, and I'm waiting I hear as I see the story. My people, I they break up to Una. I beg, make Una comment on this channel. I beg, comment on this particular uh, topic. Let me know your opinion and do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget again that all these are alleged information as I do not live in the palace. You know, you just have to hang around because I'll be bringing you more updates.